The CPDs new this year. We saw an avenue that needed exploring. The government's made more money available to upskill the existing members of staff in their PE lessons. So Miss Lee gives me a timetable. Um, it's got all the classes listed and the sports that they've chosen and the areas that they want to work on. So it might be something to do with um, lesson organisation or quick ways of getting the boys and girls into groups. And I go in and I actually help the teachers deliver that. I just give them a little bit, little bit of advice and uh, work on skills and techniques and things like that. A lot of our teachers, they tend to focus on the sports that they're more confident with and it was a bit of a rolling programme of that. Nobody was improving on the sports that maybe they weren't confident in. We decided then to start a programme, a CPG programme that was going to run all the way through the school, including all the teachers, using sports or um, curriculum outcomes that they weren't confident with. Obviously I've learnt a lot, lots of different uh, lesson approaches, so I'm feeling a lot more confident about teaching PE. And the children, yeah, they really, really enjoy their lessons, so when they come back into class, all of the sort of team building exercises they do um, in the PE lessons really help them across curricula. It's helped me with my planning, it's changed in my approach in the sense that you don't always have to play a game. You can focus on the skills for one, two, three weeks um, and then you can build up to the point of having sort of the competitive element. Think about what elements you need really for them to be successful as an end result. So they would only teach one sport? Yeah, now Mr O'Reilly's come in. He's teach the teachers to do like other stuff instead of just the one thing they could do. I think they've learnt a lot more as well from just like being taught by Mr O'Reilly. Yeah, and they feel more confident by doing different sports and it's fun to do different ones. It was important that we, we celebrated um, uh, the, the excellence, really, of, of our sports provision and how forward-thinking we are and um, how well we actually do spend the sports grant money. It's all about sustainability and it's all about um, providing our staff with the necessary skills um, to deliver you know, outstanding uh, provision in, in physical education. In a year or two's time, I think St Lawrence's will have changed a lot again. We've come a long way in this two years with our CPD programme. I'd like the teachers to be taking much more responsibility for their own PE schemes, delivering them, writing their schemes, reporting on their schemes, um, using assessment for learning as they pass their children through the primary school. I think it's really important that the next teacher understands where those children are and what they actually need to do to develop their PE. There is definitely not going to be this money from the government for a long, long period of time. So it's going to be a case where they cannot employ sports coaches. And it'll come a time when it actually is only the primary school teacher that actually teaches the PE, which is fantastic.